the flow boundary obstruction caused by the ether screen. We saw this diagram earlier. The resistance to the ventilation airflow along the vertical ether screen creates a cone-shaped flow boundary dead zone. Heat is added to this experiment from a forced air torso or upper body blanket under the drape. In this case, it isn't vented waste heat, but rather waste heat radiated through the drape that causes the problem. The radiated heat warms the air in the dead zone on the other side of the drape, causing it to rotate and form a vortex. In a laminar flow ventilation laboratory, a surgical table and mannequin are draped in a standard way, and a torso forced air blanket is placed on the mannequin under the drape. With the forced air heater turned off, the neutral buoyancy bubbles released in the dead zone can be seen rising slightly and then are quickly cleared. With the heater on high, the heat radiating through the drape energizes the air in the dead zone, causing it to rotate, forming a vortex, essentially a tornado. Just like a tornado, the rotation of this vortex creates a partial vacuum in its core. Heat off, the dead zone has no apparent energy. With the heat on, the dead zone forms a tornado. In this laminar flow operating room, the same experimental setup produces a very tight vortex. If the analogy to a tornado seems overly dramatic, consider this. We can put trace amounts of smoke particles near the floor and then with the heat turned on, the particles can be detected on top of the table at the surgical site with a laser particle counter. With the heat turned off, no particles are detected on top of the table. The vacuum in the vortex formed by the radiated waste heat combined with the ether screen flow obstruction literally sucks contaminated particles off the floor and puts them into the sterile surgical field on top of the table. This is in fact a mini tornado caused by the waste heat.